Hello viewers and welcome to another video. Uh, today it's about this uh, little ugly black box. So uh, this box is a simple solution to my TV. This TV has several HDMI inputs, uh, but unfortunately uh, it uh, cannot uh, automatically switch to HDMI input uh, when you connect uh, some uh, source, some video source device. But fortunately uh, I have noticed that this TV has uh, serial input like uh, almost every uh, digital TV now have and you can see uh, that uh, by this digital input you can control with a simple UART uh, protocol uh, the TV. So you can turn on and off TV, uh, change volume, uh, change channel and, uh, and other things. And uh, one uh, configuration which is, uh, which is useful for me is uh, this input select. So with these uh, text commands I can set TV to display digital TV or to switch to HDMI input. And that's uh, exactly what this black box is doing. There's a simple 80 mega 8-bit processor and a TTL to RS-232 logic converter. So first let's take a look uh, into this black box. Please excuse the crudity of construction of this device. This is uh, botched and hacked together in a very short time. So there's some 80 mega 8 uh, CPU together with a max uh, 233 chip which converts uh, 80 mega TTL UART to RS-232 standard uh, which uh, understands uh, my TV. Uh, we need only one-way communication, so only the uh, transmission wire from 80 mega to a level converter is connected. So this 80 mega MCU is powered uh, by USB connector, and uh, this connector is connected uh, to the TV, which is supplying power. I don't need uh, any power adapter, and here you see the serial output for my TV. Now, just uh, to show how it works, I'm using a USB UART converter to my PC. Now, uh, only thing I need is to know uh, when you connect uh, some HDMI device to this switch. Uh, this switch is good. Uh, it uh, automatically connects uh, the last connected uh, input to the output. So I don't need uh, to switch the input uh, by this button, just uh, the last connected device is selected. That's perfect. And as you see, uh, this uh, switch is also uh, powered uh, by HDMI input because every device is supplying some, I don't know, few milliamps of power uh, at 5 volts. So this switch is uh, using these 5 volts to turn on the LED on and to power itself. And also I'm using uh, this power uh, as a signal uh, so the 80 mega knows uh, when there is some device connected and 80 mega sends uh, appropriately the command to the TV. One uh, command is sent on the connection and another command on the disconnection. Now uh, just uh, let's take a look inside this switch. So at the first look uh, I see a very terrible design of high-speed uh, HDMI traces. Yes, they say it's uh, 1080p compatible, but whatever, yeah, the impedance matching uh, must be terrible with these traces. But let's move uh, to the 5 volt signal for 80 mega. Uh, as you can see there are three uh, diodes, uh, one for each input, and I soldered uh, one wire which goes to the digital input pin of 80 mega. And that's all uh, what's inside. Maybe you're asking uh, why is there only one wire, why uh, I'm not uh, also uh, getting ground from this circuit, and uh, I'm using the TV as uh, ground reference because by HDMI, this switch is connected to the TV and 80 mega is powered uh, from the same ground uh, by this USB. So uh, that's why I only need uh, one wire for the signal of the connected uh, HDMI input. And here you can see the switch in closer detail. Yeah. 
Here's a complete uh, connection diagram uh, drawn in uh, IK, uh, ICAP, no, IdeaPad, yes. Uh, the 5 volt signal gets uh, through one of these diodes and it goes to 80 mega. This uh, 80 mega is powered by the TV and when the signal is connected, uh, the 80 mega sends a UART command uh, which uh, turns the TV input uh, to HDMI, HDMI or digital TV and uh, this is a command for setting HDMI input and this one is for digital TV. Uh, now just uh, let's take a look how it works in reality. So, okay so now I connect the HDMI input to one of the input, it doesn't care which one and you can see that uh, I get 070 command, uh, 7 stands for HDMI, this is this bit configuration and when you disconnect your input uh, device uh, I would like to set the TV back to the digital TV input which is this one. And as you can see it sends uh, 0, 0 command. Yes, so it works quite well I'm using it for a lot of years and it's a simple automation device which improves my TV. I don't post any code uh, because I don't have uh, this code uh, anymore uh, but I'm think, I think that uh, it's too easy construction so anyone uh, who knows uh, Arduino stuff or microcontroller stuff can code this program very easily. So I hope uh, you liked uh, this uh, overview of one of my older designs and uh, see you next time.